Thank you very much. Wow, that was a really uh, rousing round of applause. We appreciate it. Yeah, anyway, that song is super fun to play. Super fun opener. That is Bolivia by Cedar Walton. Okay, so I think we're going to continue on with uh, an original tune. Would you like that? Yeah. All right. So we're going to carry on with an original tune uh, of mine. This is uh, a piece that I wrote and recorded on my most recent CD, which is called Paseo. You can get it right here. Um, you can also, of course, because we are in modern times, you can download it on the internet. You can look for it on Spotify, Bandcamp. But um, if you're one of those people who enjoys having the physical artifact, I'd be happy to sell you one tonight. You can sit, come see me uh, after the show. It's a lot of fun to listen to in your, um, in your car, and they also make great coasters. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is a piece that I wrote. Um, I guess this kind of got a quote-unquote Latin flavor, whatever the heck that means. So, um, as always, you try to pick a song title that's appropriate to the piece. Um, and so I thought of one of my favorite um, appetizers, condiments, whatever you want to call it, um, from the local uh, Mexican restaurant. And so this song is entitled Escabeche.
Hey, thanks very much, folks. That song was Escabeche. That song is always uh, uh, really spicy and exciting and fun to play. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll... Uh, would anybody here like to play a good old-fashioned or hear a good old-fashioned jazz standard? Oh, yeah. I know we would. Yes. Okay. So um, this is a tune that um, I really enjoy playing. Um, and, uh, geez, I don't know where I first heard this tune, maybe like on a West Montgomery recording. Um, but then recently I played a gig with a, um, a really talented jazz singer. Her name is Glenda Davenport, and uh, she kind of brought this one up again and kind of made me think, yeah, I should probably go back and revisit that one because it is a really nice song to play. Um, so, yeah, it's just one of the old chestnuts, if you will. Is that what you call them in the U.K., Dan? Yeah, we call them chestnuts. We call them chestnuts. Okay, they have chestnuts in the U.K., Anyway, uh, this is one of the ye old chestnuts, and uh, this is called Gone with the Wind. Hope you like it.
Thank you very much. How about Ryan Hagler on that bass? Oh, that was really tasty, man. Made me forget what we were going to play next. Um, oh, yeah, okay. This was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, going to do another original tune for you guys. This one's uh, also off of the Paseo CD. Um, and, uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun to play. It was untitled for a long time, so I had to really, um, I had to really ponder what I was going to call it. Um, but I decided to call it uh, Freckles after my, uh, my wife and I's cat, Chilita. And that's not her name. Uh, her name is Chilita, but she does have little freckles. So anyway, I hope you like this one. It's a lot of fun to play.
That's really nice. Sounds like you like that one. Let's hear from Mike Gordon on the drums. Uh, he's doing a great job on Very Little Street, Very Little Sleep. And let's hear it for Dan, uh, Dan Reno on the piano. Sounding very nice, my friend, very nice. Well, um, being from the UK, Dan does things a little differently. Um, and I guess they've got their own, uh, own, as we know, their own ways over there, the old ways. Um, but one thing I love about Dan is that he's uh, introduced me to some new tunes. Um, that are really lovely, um, and so we'd like to play a song for you now that he kind of uh, introduced to me that I've heard, but 
I actually never, never learned, but I thought it, it was so nice. I really liked it and uh, decided to learn it for uh, this concert. So uh, continuing on with playing some of the, the tunes that the, the lesser known tunes that the piano players have written. This one is by a um, really wonderful pianist, probably from the you know, 1940s, 50s, 60s era named Jimmy Rolls. Not really a household name, but uh, certainly eminent in the field of jazz. He was Billie Holiday's accompanist. Played with many, many singers, including Ella Fitzgerald. Um, and uh, there's a really nice recording with him and the guitarist, Joe Pass. Anyway, I guess he probably was a prolific composer, but this is one of his best known tunes. Um, kind of an unusual, beautiful ballad. And uh, we hope you like it. It's entitled, The Peacocks.
Folks, yes, lovely tune. Let's hear for Dan Raynaud. Good. All right. Yes, you're showing me you're still awake out there. That's great. I swear we might have put you to sleep with those moody, tragic melodies. But you're still, you're still awake. You're still alive. Okay. All right. Great. Um, well, first of all, you know, can we have like a really nice warm round of applause for our host, your host, Colin Shook? Seriously. <laughs> Colin's amazing. I mean, I know a lot of you guys know Colin, but for those of you that don't, I mean, he's really like a, 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 a one-man jazz promotion machine, just doing so much as a musician. He's a fantastic piano player, bass player, and more, but just um, as a promoter, opening a venue in the midst of the pandemic, doing live streams, um, giving musicians a place to play, um, putting the music out there, and just doing so much, uh, you know, not not just for jazz in Austin, but really um, for the arts in general. So thank you, Colin. We appreciate you. Let's hear one more time for Colin. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to do a couple more songs for you guys. I'm going to kind of go back to the straight ahead uh, standard song book for the next one. This is a fun one to play um, from the kind of bebop era. Great standard entitled The Song Is You. Hope you dig it. Thank you. 
Yes, let's hear from Mike Gordon on the drums one more time. Yes, that was a fun, fast-paced romp, wasn't it, fellas? Okay. All right, everybody having a good time so far? Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for coming out. It's, like I said, it's really wonderful to uh, play for a live audience. It's been, uh, you know, things are slowly picking up, but it's been about a year, so it's really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure. It's definitely, uh, it's not the same playing without a live audience, you really help bring the music to life. So yeah, I guess time for a couple more, and as I said tonight, we've been playing uh, maybe some of the little lesser known songs by the piano players. Did a little Cedar Walton, Jimmy Rolls. Um, we're just gonna do kind of a fun, uh, simple but quirky blues song. Um, wouldn't be a proper jazz gig if you didn't play a tune by um, Thelonious Monk. So this is just a fun uh, little blues song of his called Mysterioso. Thank you. 
Let's see for Ryan Hagler on the bass. Wow. That was like a, a soulful, manly, deep bass solo that only a native Texan could have possibly played. Wow. That was great. And what about Dan Reno on the piano? How about that? Man, that was fantastic. I haven't heard an Englishman play the blues like that since Eric Clapton. It was amazing. Well, he's canceled anyway, so you're, all, you're our only hope, Dan. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hey, guys. Um, it's been such a pleasure having you guys here. Um, really had a blast playing for you guys. Thank you so much for attending. Uh, really means a lot to us. So we're going to play one more number um, and take you out. So just kind of a, uh, kind of a um, jazz standard, Brazilian standard. It's a beautiful song by the great composer Antonio Carlos Jobim. This one's a lot of fun to play. I hope you like it. It's called Chega de Saudade, which means no more blues or no more sadness. And it's a great, great closer. Hope you dig it.
Wow, that's really nice of you guys. Thank you so much. Let's hear for Dan Reno on the piano. And let's hear for Ryan Hagor on the bass. And of course, uh, Mike Gordon on the drums. Hey, what do you think? You guys want to hear another one? All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, settle down, everybody. Settle down. Okay, so we're going to play uh, one more, just kind of slow things down and let you guys relax. Don't want any high blood pressure in here. Uh, yeah, this is just a fun, fun uh, standard that uh, I've always enjoyed playing. Uh, beautiful song uh, called Come Rain or Come Shine. Thank you. 
Hey, thank you very much, guys. Let's hear for this fantastic band one more time on drums. Mike Gordon. Dad. On bass. Ryan Hagler. On drums. I mean, excuse me, on piano. Dan Reno. Yeah. That's a, that's a piano. That's a piano. All right, my name's Jacob Wise. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, it's been a real blast playing for you guys. Hope to, hope to see you around next time. Okay, thanks, and have a great night. Bye.